So this is an introduction course to Unity. So the first thing you obviously need to do is download Unity. And you can go to unity.com to be able to do that. And I'm not really going to show you how to do that because if you're trying to use a game engine, you should know how to download the game engine at unity.com. So you download it, you install, and then you open it. When you open it right now, I'm using Unity 5.6.3. So that way you know whether you're on the same page as I am or you have a previous version or a version that's past this one. In any case, most of this stuff should still apply even if you have an older version. So right now what I'm going to do is once I have it open, I'm going to open myself up a new project by clicking on the new button up here. And then I can go ahead and choose the kind of project that I want. So I'm going to name the project here. I'm going to call this uh, my first 2D Unity. And then you decide where you want that to be. And then you can go ahead and choose this. Right now I have it off because I don't want any any analytics going on here. I can actually add a package by clicking on this, like a, a particular assets package that I believe I'm going to use. But I'm going to leave this blank so we can have ourselves a blank um, canvas. If I click on 2D, it doesn't mean that the game, anything in the game changes that I couldn't change when I open it. Um, it just means the view will be set to a particular 2D, you know, position. So we can just leave it at 3D, even though we're doing 2D, so we can see how things normally start off. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Now, before we get started on anything, actually, I want you to know that if you go to Unity.com, um, you have the manual and the script API here. So everything I'm talking about is here in a Unity's documentation for anything that's worth doing. Uh, most of the time they'll have documentation connected to it and Unity is no different. So this is the Unity documentation. There's a manual with the script here and it's at docs.unity3d.com slash manual. So that way you know that I'm not just pulling this stuff out of my head and, and anyone who's using Unity is going to go by the manual or someone showed them how to do it. So it'd be a good thing to go check that out. So the good thing about Unity is that all these panels are already named. And as you can see over here, you have your scenes panel, you have your game panel, hierarchy, project. And if you don't see any of, any of this, you can actually go to your window and all of these are here. And if you have a different layout, you can go to layouts and then you can choose the kind of layout and you can go factory settings and change the kind of layout. Let's say if I hit default, it's going to set everything up to default. And I think that's what you should do because the, the settings that I just had a second ago was on based on a project that I was recently doing. I had some animation stuff going on. So it had an animation tab there. So what we all want to do is be on the same page. So we're going to set our windows again to layout and to default. And once that happens, over here on your left-hand side, you're going to see this hierarchies tab. Then you're going to see your scenes tab, a game tab. And you'll have this asset store tab there, which is awesome because that's where you can buy a ton of assets to get your game going, at least to get it started. And then you have your inspector over here. And then down here you have your project. And then your console. And this is where you'll see some debug information or some print screen information if you were printing it out in code. Now, over here is your scene and this is where we want to talk about how to navigate through the scene so once you are up and going at this point uh, we're ready to actually start being able to move around our scene so let's talk about navigation the navigation is pretty clear uh, and actually really simple first of all you'll be using your alt key to be, and your left mouse button to be able to orbit around an object so you see this little light here when I click on that light, that represents a light source. So that's like the sun, okay? It's a directional light. It looks like the sun. So once I click on anything in this scene view, and I hold down Alt and uh, drag the mouse holding down the, right, the left mouse button, I can orbit around it. If I want to zoom into something, Basically, what I can do is click on it and zoom in. Even if I don't click on anything, I can, as long as I'm clicked on this scene view, 
I can zoom in. The thing is, if I click on something else, let's say here, and I start moving that middle mouse button, nothing will happen because this now has the focus. So whenever you want to zoom in or something, you need to have your mouse somewhere inside of the, the scene view. And then you can scroll that middle mouse button inside and out. Now, let's say if I wanted to pan left and right. Well, basically, what I can do is hold down the middle mouse button and pan left and right. So I'll hold down the middle mouse button and I drag the mouse left and right. So we have our pan, we have our scroll, and then we have our orbit. So now that we understand a little bit about the navigation, I want to go ahead and adjust the resolution of my game. Now, the way I'm going to do that is once I have this scene set up here, which we have nothing here for now, but uh, I do want to set this up when I go to my game tab. I want to set this up not to be just free aspect. I want to go here and change this to something like 1024 by 600. Now, I don't see that here. So in order for me to get that, I have to go to this little plus button down there. 1024 by 600. 1024 by 600. And uh, the reason why we want this aspect ratio, uh, this height and width, is because this uh, aligns nicely with uh, mobile devices and tablets and that sort of stuff. And also the computer itself, like just regular computer application. So this is why we want this, uh, this setting to be. So once I do that, I'm just going to click on OK. And then you'll see everything change here. Right now, you'll look up here and it says 1024 by 600. Now, to complete the understanding of our configuration, we'll understand here that we have no matter how I resize my, my screen, I'm always going to have this ratio here. But let's say you didn't want that and you wanted this to change a little bit. I can actually go here, right click on this and edit this or delete it in any way, shape or form. Then click OK and everything will change from there. But this is what we want. OK, so um, it doesn't mean that we're actually going to go ahead and create uh, like a mobile game or anything. But it does mean that uh, we are versatile enough to where if we wanted to create a mobile game, we're already set up for that. So we understand here our game tab. We have our scene tab here. And now inside of my scene, the game tab, it's only active when you press this play button. OK, so you have this play button up here and this pause button that plays and pause the game uh, in the scene here. This is where I'm going to set everything up. So let's say, for instance, here. In my scene view, I have my main camera. When I select on that, you'll see how it's highlighted here. And then when I click on my directional light, you see how that's highlighted here. But let's say, for instance, I was someplace in my scene. I'm just scrolling down. I have no idea where I'm at. See, I have no idea where I'm at. Whoa, where's the sun? I'm just scrolling around. And I don't know where I put my directional light. So the easiest way to find that is not necessarily try to navigate to it. The easiest way will be to go ahead and click on the item that you're concerned with and then put your mouse over here and then hit F and then it'll find that that object that you have selected. So let's say if I didn't know where my directional light was, I'm going to hit the directional light and I'm hit F and it'll go ahead and find that. Then I can go ahead and zoom in on that and orbit around it if I want to. So those are some of the major concepts that we need to understand when it comes to navigating and setting up our scene so that way we can do a 3D game. Now in the next video what we're going to do is talk about how to add things to the scene and maybe get some simple scene you know some simple scene up so we can go ahead and start our game. I'll see you guys then.